Good to see you, Congressman. And Good to you see just you, re you just came back from a visit to the DMZ on the peninsula over there. Um, you know, what's your reaction? I, you know, again, it, we're <coughs> not quite where Reagan and Gorbachev were, right? Because, you know, this is just the beginning stages. We're in the first inning. What's your take on what's going on? Well, I think this is a historic opportunity, and thanks to President Trump's leadership and the maximum pressure campaign, it's created this opening uh, for a different path forward. And so in that sense, really, the future could be amazingly different than the past. And so in that sense, it is similar. But look, uh, North Korea is not a near superpower. Uh, they are a medieval monarchy. Uh, they are a nearly failed state and a rogue regime. And with the maximum pressure campaign, they're coming from a position of weakness. President Trump is extending them a lifeline, and now it's up to Kim whether he's going to take it or not. The reality is the threat has not changed. The sanctions have not been relieved. Uh, but using all elements of national power, we are at a place where if Kim chooses a different path forward, we yeah. could really see history change. You know, you got Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, the Democrats, saying, you know, Trump is legitimizing Kim Jong-un, you know, the same criticism level that Obama for legitimizing, you know, <laughs> Cuba and Iran. The point being, Reagan had five summits with the Soviet right. Union. The Democrats act like everything is going to get done with one summit. But to your right. point, Reagan kept a hard line, walked out of Reykjavik. Right. Uh, a year later, got a treaty. And then six years later, the Soviet Union collapsed. Your reaction? Exactly. And look, there's such hypocrisy coming from Pelosi and Schumer and others. Uh, they supported the weakness of the Obama administration when they gave away the farm to both Cuba and Iran. You know, uh, $100 billion of cash and sanctions released, $1.8 billion flown in on hard cash to them. And we got very little for it. And so, look, they just can't stand this president. And they want him to fail. And therefore, they want America's security to fail. I think they should be called out for their hypocrisy uh, and the fact that they'll resist at all costs, even if it comes to a danger to the world. This is just ridiculous. You know, maybe we'll see the fall of the DNZ one day, just as we did the Berlin Wall. Yes. Uh, you know, Democrats are also saying that Bill Clinton, even George W. Bush, did a better uh, thing with North Korea. But North Korea didn't fully test nukes until 2006. Those guys really didn't see a nuclear power, uh, you know, nuclear power word, North Korea. I mean, again, we're in a yeah. nine inning game here. Yeah. Exactly. And look, the maximum pressure campaign, the unprecedented sanctions, uh, have them in a position where they have to come to the table. Look, we've had 282 days since the last nuclear test, 195 days since the last missile launch. We've had three prisoners released. Uh, this is an opportunity for a different future, for sure, because we can't continue to make the mistakes of the past. And so this administration has brought us to this moment. Now it's up to Kim whether he's going to choose a different path. Our military is ready to fight tonight. I visit them a few weeks ago. They are ready and capable. What do you, uh, wait, wait, are you worried about the South Korea, so, you know, South Korea military exercises, the president saying, we'll dial that back? Are you worried about that? Well, look, our military is ready to go alongside our Republic of Korea counterparts. Uh, they are amazingly capable and innovative and strong. Uh, the North Korean military is extremely weak compared to it. Uh, so, look, I'm a little concerned, depending on how long this might go on. But mm -hmm. this is, I think, a, 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 an opening for if anything changes, if Kim chooses to play uh, with President Trump, the military okay. is ready to go. And so these exer exercises can continue. Yeah, they could be relaunched. And the sanctions, by the way, are still in place. In a second. Great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Great to see you.